Locked On ACC, your daily podcast on the Atlantic Coast Conference, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Locked On ACC Podcast, and it is March Madness, so you know we have to get all of the heavy hitters in here. So we got some of our crew from Stat Hero, Jason Adamio, joining us to talk about Stat Hero, just why you guys should most importantly get into the game. Jason, how are you? Candace, good to have, good to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, on. of course, of course. And are you excited about March? I feel like it's the best time of year. You know, it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Maybe I don't know where you're from, but down here in North Carolina, it's a little bit warmer. People have their attitudes are different. And, you know, it's basketball country around here, so we're real hyped. I live in Scottsdale, so I'm used to the okay. Heat. Uh, so it's it's a it's a nice seventy degrees. I get to sit back, look at my bracket. Candace, <laughs> you understand? Like this is the the this is the winning bracket here. You have- is it? VIP access to this. Do you understand? <laughs> I wish I could get close up. <laughs> I'll give you. I'll give you some tidbits. I, I got to win it all. I don't. I have to take full credit. So I, I'll give you a, a couple of the of the winners uh, today. Okay. Okay. Do you have all number ones picked in the final four? Just tell me that. Just tell me that. I will never do that ever. In fact, <laughs> I don't have a number one winning it. I do have a number one in the in the, in the final though, but. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 So we all know that everyone loves to get a bracket. We all love the idea of possibly getting the best bracket out of the bunch, but talk to us about stat here and just why it's so important to maybe do some of these single game pickums. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, the reason I created this side and, and we're going to talk about the pickum uh, side of stat hero uh, specifically is, you know, I'm a, I'm a sports better, a bad sports better. I think I'm <laughs> That with confidence. Uh, and, you know, you, you see these sports betting, and obviously that's the most popular thing to do in the March Madness outside of the brackets. But you, the top sports bettors in the world, they're they're only hitting 50 to 52%. And these, these are the guys that do it for a living that are sitting there right. analyzing hours upon hours a day, all right? And the only reason they, they make money is they know how much to bet at, on each, you know, bet that they want to make, right? So I'm like, man, there's got to be an easier way to have that instant gratification experience right? Like your sports betting, but actually easier to win because you don't really have any fun if you're not winning. At least I don't. Uh, DFS, sports betting side, uh, or you're chasing, right? So yeah. I created the Pickham, which is basically super simple. All you do, mm-hmm. all we did is we take two rosters made up of players, uh, pitting them up against each other. And you as the player will see that matchup and say, okay, who do I think will win on a fantasy side of things, right? Who's going to get more points? So team A or team B, and we have those across throughout the whole tournament. And you basically pick a side and you make a play on it and we cover that amount and that's it, you're in. So it's the fastest, easiest way to play DFS. You don't have to be an expert. It's not intimidating. You're not putting a bunch of time in. It's like, okay, I'm gonna follow this game. I'm gonna follow the Duke Duke game and I'm gonna take this side and I'm just gonna root for players. And that Mm -hmm. takes away also the bad beats of, of a sports bet, right? No ref bad calls. No, which, you know, I don't, Candace, I don't know how much sports betting you do, but it's always the last two minutes, right, that end up screwing you somehow. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. It's just more player performance. So, so uh, we're really excited about uh, giving the pick them and players make it, you know, to play it for the, for the tournament. No doubt about it. Listen, we here at the ACC know a lot about bad refs, and so that's pretty much what we're on brand for. So I have no problem not giving it into the hands of some referees because we have this guy named TV Tony who loves to just give himself some extra minutes by blowing that whistle the last two. So no doubt about that here. <laughs> but it definitely <laughs> – Feel you, but Stat Hero is definitely one of the easiest and fastest ways to get my sport action fix. Now I'm more of a sports better to where let me check the vibes. So I'm a vibe checker. You know, if I feel like teams are hot right now, like a Virginia Tech of the world, I might go with them. Or one that I truly believe has the best talent, like Duke, I'm gonna go with them. Are there you know ways that people can get analysis about it, or should we just go off the strength of the vibe check? Well, that's the cool thing, right? We're you know we we offer anything from. We don't, we don't want you to have to do a ton of research in order to make the games more interesting, right? So we, we offer anywhere from a two-on-two matchup all the way up to a six-on-six matchup. So depending, and, and you have your choice. So, you know, how much you want to get into it in regards to research perspective, you know, most of those are going to be the five-on-five, six-on-sixes. 
But two on two, you know, most of any ACC fan is going to know two main players pitting against two main players of the game. And, um, you know, so to answer your question, yes, the, the research is definitely there if you want to do it. But if you also just want, you know, a, a nice, easy way to sit back and, and, and watch the game and, and have little research, that option is there, too. No doubt about it. All right, let's get to this bracket here because you told me this is the winning one. And I would just love to know how many ACC teams you have at least going to the Elite Eight, if any. Oh, Pressure. man. Oh, <laughs> Candace, <laughs> the users aren't going to like me very much. Oh, my gracious. And I do not have any of them making it to the Elite Eight. Okay. Yes, I have I have Davidson uh, ending Duke season. Davidson, huh? Okay, not surprising David, because it's probably going to be a low-level team. But go for that. Why Davidson? I, I, I just you know that matchup it scares me. I, mean, I have Duke. Where am I at? Where am I at? Uh, I want to make sure I see this. Okay, so I have Davidson beating Michigan. Uh, Michigan it was it Michigan State, right? And then mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, Duke getting past Fullerton. And yeah, I, I just think it, it's going to be that because you know they're 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 not. They're inexperienced, right? We we know this, and, and I think there's, you know, everybody. I think actually, I'm, I'm going to speak for myself. I want Coach K to go out on top. Of course, I'm a huge I'm a huge fan of him. Uh, you know, an inexperienced team having that pressure of knowing, oh my gosh, this could be Coach K's last game. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I do see like what you said, a lower level team kind of get getting the better of them. Um, and then I have Davidson playing t uh, Tech the next round. And tech moving on, so uh, that's that's unfortunately that's a crystal ball uh, <laughs> uh, prediction, Candace. So um, hopefully, you know, don't buy those elite eight tickets quite yet. Listen, as a Carolina grad, I could care less that Duke doesn't make it far. <laughs> I would prefer if a Davidson upsets them, right? But that's that's fine. But I, I hear what you're saying. It's a lot of pressure to try and be Coach K's last, and more importantly, to try and get him his sixth national championship. So no, but is Duke the team that goes the furthest out of the ACC? I feel like you don't have anybody else going barely out of their first round. I have I have Vatek uh, making okay. it to Kentucky. In fact, I have Vatek uh, making it the furthest. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, yes. I, I liked what I saw. I, I, I think, you know, they're good. I like them getting past Texas. And, uh, you know, they're going to play Purdue. And, of course, they're going to be, you know, underdogs. But, I don't know, something tells me that these guys, <laughs> these guys are hungry. And I, I needed to pick – if it's not going to be Duke, I had to pick an ACC team to represent, you know. Okay, so that's fair. Mm -hmm. And North Carolina is not going to beat Marquette. <laughs> Let's see what I have. <laughs> Is that what you have? You have Honestly, that? no. North Carolina won their Super Bowl, their national championship for me by beating Coach K during his farewell tour, so they don't have to win another game. I'll be okay. But I have you know. many of Duke friends that didn't even talk. <laughs> but, but like the, the next three games after that, even bringing it up, I'm like, hey, you still got the conference tournament. What's going on? Ah, uh, whatever. They're they're gonna lose the first round, or you know, it's very defeatist. And then it's funny. They make it to the championship, right? They they're playing by tech, and they're like, and I'm like, hey, and I'm 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 getting you know trying to get them pumped up. Ah, uh, we'll see. I'm 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 not looking. It's very, very low level expectations for this team, which is yeah. which is I guess interesting to me. I I mean yeah. they they watch more, more than I do, but. Listen, yeah. I think that North Carolina team broke spirits, and that's okay. Again, when you when you have a thing, when you know your team's not going to win a championship, how can we hurt others? And that's we have to hurt Duke by making sure we downpour on their you know final farewell. I'm fine with that. Having to give a speech after you just lost a game like that, that's going to oh. be fly on the wall. <laughs> I would have paid that $5,000. Yeah, how many times did you watch that over and over and over again? Listen, they had a replay. They're like, let's relive Coach K's final one. I don't really know if they want that, but, you know, here we are. So all good yeah. stuff. <laughs> so yeah. who is your yeah, – I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, who is your winner? I know it's not going to be an ACC school, but who do you have winning the whole thing? All right, so I'm going against the grain here, even though it's not, like, that big of, of a um... – I guess prediction. It's not like I'm 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 saying here Richmond's gonna win it all or anything, but I have Tennessee winning the whole thing, baby. What? Are you yep. a Tennessee grad? Are you being a homer? Because what? I, I am not a Tennessee grad. I am not being a homer. That is my dark horse from even the beginning of the tournament. Uh, excuse me, the 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 conference tournament. Mm -hmm. I said Tennessee is my dark horse. They go and they win the thing. I think their seeding was BS. 
They should be ranked higher. A three seed after winning the whole thing is crap. Uh, Auburn's got a higher seed than them. I mean, are you kidding me? I mean, Auburn is, isn't going to make it for the first two rounds. I guarantee it. Nobody that's ever lost that early in a conference tournament goes far in the tur- in, in the actual tournament. So yeah. Auburn's done. And then who, who's the number one? I, I don't even know. Oh, Kentucky. I have Kentucky making it to the final four. Uh, okay. But yes, I have, I have. Here's my final four. Candace, write this down. Memorize it. This is the I got winner it. Here. Kansas against Tennessee. Now, the reason why is I just I think Kansas is kind of just by default is making it because I have a lot of upsets in that. I have Colgate beating Wisconsin, by the way. Mark that down. Oh, and then I have it. I have Kentucky and Gonzaga, and I have the Zags playing Tennessee. Oh, okay. I like that. So we got my final four. I'm gonna make sure I go to stat here. I'll get all my picks in. I know I'm a vibe checker. We're not gonna do too much analysis because it's all supposed to be fun here in March Madness. But can you please remind folks of where they can find all of this and make sure that they log on and get everything situated as they're making their daily uh, fantasy made easy? Yes, yes. So go if you're on your desktop, play playstathero.com. Uh, you can also download it on iOS or Android. Uh, for new users, we actually have a free pick em contest out there, actually a few of them, where you can just play for free. And if you pick the winning side, you get a free 25 bucks on us. So Ooh, nice. I, Candace, I don't know what else I got to give the, the audience <laughs> here. To make, I'm giving them bracket winning picks. I'm giving them 25 bucks. Just pick the winning side. I mean, I don't know what else to do, Candace, but uh, I think that's enough. <laughs> You're setting these people up for success, that's for sure. You guys, make sure you check out Stat Hero. It's a great site. It's going to make sure that you feel good about all of your picks. And you can check out Jason and the rest of his crew. And make sure you guys come back once we figure out who the winner is. We'll have to bring you back so you can talk about your great bracket, just so you know. Yes, the winning bracket. I'm going to, I want you to re- bring back the recording of you saying, what, what? And then you're like, yeah, you know what? You're the man. You're the man. Oh, uh, oh, it's coming. It's coming back for sure. We're going to re- have this one in the rotation heavy. <laughs> All right. I, no sure doubt I about sure. it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, thank you again for listening to Locked on ACC podcast. Make sure you download, subscribe to the podcast from anywhere you listen. You can also subscribe on YouTube for Candace and Jason until next time.